Hello, hello, welcome to Audience and Authority. And today I'm going to be showing you three ways to grow your audience fast, like super quickly using Facebook groups. The reason I wanna share this is because usually I share ways that you can grow your audience and authority, get more clients and customers and book out your offers with your own Facebook groups. But today we're going to be talking about how you can leverage other people's audiences and use Facebook groups strategically that aren't yours. This is going to be incredible for anyone who is just starting out or for anyone who doesn't feel quite techy or confident enough or maybe just not clear enough on exactly what they're going to be selling to go and start one themselves. So let's get into it. Method one in three to four Facebook groups where your ideal client or customer is already hanging out. I should say that's kind of the preface because if you're not already doing that, these other ones won't work. So if you haven't already, make sure you take stock of the Facebook groups that you're in and pick three to four where it really resonates with your own message of what you're doing and what you're selling. Oh, here comes my cat. And then where your ideal clients and customers already are because that is where you're going to want to spend your time as you're building your audience. You're also about to hear the cutest kitty ever. My little cat, Biddy, likes to speak all the time. She's super cute. And she likes to come hang out with me when I'm doing videos. So I just decided to not fight it anymore. Um, she's now a co-star. Look at my cute little cat. She's adorable. I don't know if she's gonna look at you because she's so obsessed with me, but she really is the cutest. So sweet. I just had to put her down though because she was crawling over the keyboard. Anyway. Okay, so once you are in those groups, you want to make sure that you are spending some time first just listening and watching and paying attention not only to the problems and struggles that people are having because that is your ideal audience, you already know that those same people or the same kind of people are going to be in yours. So you really wanna pay attention to what they're saying, what they're saying they're struggling with in their own words because not only is that going to help you in the future when you start building out posts and sales pages to be able to sell out your offers, but it's also going to inform your content for step two. Here she comes again. So step two is to now not just listen and watch what the people say in the comments, but now to actually engage with them. So what is a question that someone is asking in one of those groups that you can answer? And not only that you could answer, but that you could answer with depth and enthusiasm and basically make it so that for a moment, they are like your client because they could be, right? They're like your client and you're going to do your best to answer their question um, fully and in depth. And this is gonna do a couple of wonderful things for you. So aside from actually just helping that person, which is amazing in itself, if you're watching this video, if you're in my audience, you're likely a teacher and you're someone who really cares about helping people. Yes, you wanna make money. Yes, that's important to you, but that's not the most important thing, right? You really want to make a difference. You wanna help people in a true and deep way, right? And so whatever it is that you're passionate about, it's because it's going to make the world better. It's gonna help people change their lives or even just make it more convenient and easy, right? So this is something that you wanna share with the world. You don't wanna have to keep hiding it. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's looking up at me with those shiny eyes. Okay, so these people that you're in the group with not only are you going to like help this person by answering this these their questions but you're also going to be positioning yourself as an authority right and what is an authority so you can think of um, instead of authority you can think of the words thought leader or influencer but basically what we want to do my goal for you working with you with my um, these resources I make are to make you the go-to authority in your niche in whatever it is that you do to make you the top go-to person for it so what better way to position yourself as an authority and show that you really know your stuff, that you're worth your salt and that you can serve people before they even ever go on your website or content or pay you, then by showing a little bit for free. And I'm not saying you have to work for free all the time. We definitely want you to get paid. But when you're first starting out and building your audience, this is a way to do so quickly because you can show you know your stuff and if you're not following me now, you should be because I'm gonna help you out. So you're helping the person you're positioning yourself as an authority and you're building your audience because remember, in a group, even when you're applying to a comment, you're not really just talking to that one person, right? You're really talking to everyone else who's going to scroll past that group and the whole thread of comments, not just in real time, but also when they come back. 
So now you haven't just only helped that one person that you referred to, but now you have all of these other people who have similar questions and struggles and problems and similar things that they want to get solved. And now they're seeing, oh, this girl, she knows what she's talking about. I need to go check out her profile and see what she does and how she can help me. So you have helped the person, you have shown them that you are an authority by positioning yourself that way, that you're someone who can help them, and you've just shown everyone else in that group that you can do so without ever pitching, without ever selling anything, without even doing a separate post. And we will want you to do that eventually, but even just by interacting in the comments, you can already start to build a following of people who really love you, what you're about, how you do things, and what you have to offer. Now, the second thing you will want to do in those groups is to actually share value. And what I mean by value is, you know, sharing tips, tricks, resources, suggestions, basically free text trainings to help them get a quick win, to help them learn how to do something, a quick, tangible result so that they can feel like they walked away with something amazing and so that you can show that you know what you're talking about. And of course, it's always a really good idea to make sure that any content, any free content, whether it's on your blog, in your group, or in someone else's group, leads to some kind of product or service that you offer. So for example, if you are a Pinterest manager, then you might have a post said, uh, saying something like, three ways to use video pins in your Pinterest strategy or something like that. And the really clever thing about this strategy is that after you've spent some time in these groups and after you've spent some time looking at the kinds of questions they ask, responding to those questions in the comments and by positioning yourself as an authority, you've already had some people who have might've even friend requested you already or are already looking at like, okay, this is someone to watch. Does she really know what she's talking about? Is she gonna stay consistent? Is she someone worth me continuing to follow? And so by sharing that separate post, you are showing them, yes, you are that person indeed. Yes, they can continue to expect valuable content from you and they're going to be able to engage with you directly now. So that's where you take your stand, you put a position on how you do a certain thing, you're showing how to do a certain thing, you have some kind of question, some kind of engagement call to action where you're inviting them to engage with you in those comments so you can talk to them directly. And this is going to be great because it gives you a chance to see how do others in your ideal audience respond to your message? Is your message clear? Are you using words that resonate them with them? Are people saying things like, oh my gosh, yes, this is exactly what I need, or oh my gosh, I'm so glad I found you. That is what I want for people to do when they come across you and your content. So that leads into number three. So after you have been getting to know the people in this group, showing that you are willing to show up and serve them and you are already a person of authority who knows their stuff who can do that. After you've been posting valuable content, you know, maybe three or so posts, doesn't have to be in one, you know, all the time, like every day, but after a few posts, maybe in a week span of time, you're showing them like, okay, this person knows what she's talking about. So even if you don't have a website or your own group yet, you are building a following, even if it just means building friends on Facebook, or you can have as your call to action to go have them follow you on Instagram if that's where you wanna build. But regardless, you have already positioned yourself as someone worthy to be followed. And so I can guarantee you, I know because I do this and because my audience members do this, they are going to come and check out your profile. Now, people like to handle Facebook in different ways when it comes to their business. I actually love using my personal profile for my business. I find that the engagement is really good and high. The algorithm usually prioritizes my posts in their feeds. And I just love the idea of being able to make friends with people in my ideal audience and actually building connections with them, not only because I can actually learn from them and sell more of my stuff and do better as someone in business, but I can actually make a connection with them. And those connections are part of the impact I make. Now, whether you use your personal profile and have it on public and you want people to connect with you in that way is up to you. However, I highly recommend you do have it on public, but if you don't want to do that, if you want to keep your personal and business life separate, I totally understand. But either way, you definitely need to have a group profile set up in every group that you're in where your ideal audience, client, and customer is hanging out. 
And that is actually why I wanted to make this video. So the training that I just gave you is based on a live stream training I just did in my own Facebook group, Audience and Authority. So if you haven't joined that yet, be sure to come check it out and join us. I show teacherpreneurs and teacher business owners how they can position themselves as an authority online and how they can attract clients and customers with Facebook groups. Go check it out if you haven't already. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash audience and authority or you can just search audience and authority on Facebook search. But while doing that live stream training, I had a teacherpreneur ask me, how do I do that? How do I set up my Facebook group profile in these different groups? And that is what I'm going to show you how to do right now.